Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at a quick revision of solving quadratic equations from level one. So these are the three questions we're going to be looking at. Uh, so let's get started. So the first question, uh, what we have is we've got to factorize it with two brackets. So this one is a pretty straightforward one because we can kind of see uh, what two numbers that are going to multiply to 12 and add up to 7 is we've got 4 and 3. So we're going to write this down as x plus 4 and x plus 3. Now, when we have two numbers and they multiply and if equals to zero, one of those numbers has to equal zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to say either x plus 4 equals to zero or x plus 3 equals to zero. So in the first situation, uh, we're going to get x equals negative 4. And in the second situation, we're going to get x equals negative 3. So we can kind of say at the end uh, that the two answers that x could be is negative 4 or negative 3. Okay, now getting to question B, uh, we've got coefficient of x squared which is uh, bigger than 1. So we've got to do that little crazy algorithm thing where we try and work out what the factors are. So what I'm going to do is I've got 3 times 2 first, which is equal to 6. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 6 and they also have to add up to negative 7. So at this point, uh, my two numbers are going to be negative 6 and negative 1 and negative 6 plus negative 1 equals negative 7. So I need to sp split that quadratic so I'm going to rewrite it as 3x squared minus 6x minus x and plus 2. So all I've done here is I've actually replaced uh, the negative 7x with negative 6 and negative 1 as you guys can see right here. So once I do this, uh, I need to split them up into two, um, two parts here and I'm going to factorize the left hand side and then factorize the right hand side. So factorizing the left hand side, I've got 3x as a common factor so I can take it out which means I'm going to end up with x minus 2. And then on the right hand side I've got negative x plus 2. Um, and I can see that negative 1 is a common factor and so I can take it out as negative 1 as a common factor which will leave me with x minus 2. Now you might be wondering why I can't take positive 1. Uh, the problem is, if you take positive 1 as a common factor, then you would end up with negative x plus 2. And then what happens is that these two brackets here are not the same, uh, and so they have to be the same. That's how you can actually factorize this. So that's why we actually end up uh, taking negative 1 in this particular case. So once we do that, we have x minus 2 and x minus 2 as a common factor. So we can take x minus 2 out and on the other bracket we are going to have 3x minus 1. So just to reiterate that 3x is from there to there and the negative 1 comes from there to there. Now remember all of this is equal to 0 so that means we've got x minus 2 equals to 0 or 3x minus 1 equals to 0. So in the first situation we're going to get x equals to 2 and in the second situation we're going to get 3x equals negative 1 when it goes to the other side it becomes positive 1 and then x is equal to 1 divided by 3. So our two answers are x is equal to 2 or 1 third. Cool. Moving on to question C here. So with question C, the first thing you want to be doing is rearranging it so that one of the sides is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the 5 to the left hand side, which means I'm going to have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0. Uh, and then I'm going to follow the same thing as I did in question B. So I've got 2 times negative 5 which equals negative 10. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add up to negative 9. So in this case the numbers are going to be negative 10 and positive 1, negative 10 and positive 1. So the next thing is rewriting that quadratic but without the 9x. So I'm going to write it as 2x squared but instead of 9, negative 9x I'm going to write negative 10x and positive 1x. So I'm going to write down negative 10x and plus 1x and I've got minus 5 left over. So as you guys can see all I've done here is I've switched the negative 9 with negative 10 and positive 1x from there. So at this part I need to split the um, equation into two and I'm going to factorize the left hand side. So when I factorize the left hand side I've got 2x as a common factor so which means I'm going to get x minus 5. Now if you look at the right hand side, you've got a positive x minus 5. 
So, you know, at this point, you can just take one out as a common factor, plus one. And that means you're going to get x minus five in, in the brackets. So when we have x minus five in the brackets, then what we can say is we've got x minus five on the left hand side and we've got x minus five in the right hand side. So we can take it out as a common factor and we're going to have 2x plus 1 remaining. And just to kind of remember the 2x is from here and the plus 1 comes from there. And also remember that all of this is actually equal to 0. And because it's equals to 0, each one of those brackets is equal to 0. So we can say x minus 5 equals 0 or 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So in our first case, we're going to get x equals to 5. And in our second case, we're going to get 2x is equal to negative 1. Because plus 1, when you switch over to the right-hand side, it's minus 1. And then x is equal to negative 1 divided by 2. So our two answers in this case is one answer is 5. And the second answer is negative half. Might just do a quick check just to see if I've actually done um, it correctly. Um, again, you, if you have a graphics calculator, you can actually use the graphics calculator to check your answers um, as well. Like you don't have to do it this long-winded way. Uh, I have set up videos for how to use the graphics calculator in the graphics calculator tip section, guys. So have a look at that playlist. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go through it real quickly. So going into polynomial, degree 2. So in the first question B, I've got 3, negative 7, and positive 2. All right, so my first answer is 2, and my second answer is 1 third. Sweet. Now notice how it says 0.33, and I know I can't, you guys can't see the mouse here, but um, at the bottom uh, left of the calculator, sorry, bottom right of the calculator screen, you can actually see 1 third as a, written as a fraction. All right, now looking at question C, we had 2, negative 9, and negative 5. And what we have is positive 5. Yes, we have that. And we also have negative 1 over 2. So yeah, cool. That's uh, that's looks pretty good so far. All right, guys. That's basically it for this uh, video here. As always, uh, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material there. And as always, thank you for watching.